What's up Simonics? Welcome back to your favorite show on YouTube. It is once again App Review! The show where I, Simon, review your applications. You've already submitted a few applications during the last week. I will check out a few of them. I don't know yet which of them, so let's dive right into it. Okay, the first app is called Oklagicha RS. Interesting name. I don't know which language this is. It looks like... I have no idea. Okay, but I got actually a few good ratings um, on the Play Store even more. So let's try and uh, see this app. So here we are and the first thing I notice is of course the... Uh, not this, but the image here is not really an HD image or retina image So it looks a bit blurred on my iOS device on my iPhone and also this page is really just too crowded of different fonts images Buttons and I have no idea where to click so we got this little menu at the top which actually works kind of nice I uh, like this, but I see a little scroll bar at the bottom I don't know if you can actually notice this but I would hide the scroll bar because you, you don't really want to have it in there. This is also slides. Um, in here actually the dots for the slides might make sense. So from the first picture I wasn't really sure if there's something to slide. So an indication with the dots here might make sense. Uh, in that case I would uh, remove the dots from here because having it in too many places might look uh, odd. So what I would do in here is uh, move them a bit to the side and make just this one uh, like this so you know that there's something to slide and then yeah it snaps that makes uh, definitely sense no freestyle. We got a side menu um, I don't know this is some kind of cooking app. Um, I don't really like the buttons um, because they look like a browser game from 15 years ago perhaps so this is not really the design of an application that I would expect although it is kind of unique I must admit these buttons are definitely too small even with my super small fingers um, it will become tricky to use them and we got some ads at the bottom I think I might move the ads above the tab bar because I, I think normally I see the ads above the tab bar and this is a bit confusing and also the tab bar isn't really the standard size and also the icons are really really small so everything in this app needs to be a bit bigger these icons here are too small, these are too small, I don't know why they have this this order, um, I guess there's some idea behind it that I just don't know, I uh, don't get. Same for here, uh, I really don't know why it looks like this, but I feel like the, the person who did this had an idea why they should be aligned like this, but I don't get it. But I like that the heart is uh, a little CSS animation actually, so I enjoy that. Uh, I have no idea what you're telling me with it and this is really something I didn't expect in this application so having like little uh, CSS animations or however you animated them can really spice up a super boring view like the pre javitese view. The search works as advertised um, so I guess I'm back in the menus I will really want to know what these are I guess these are like categories but there's no swipe to go back so I have no go to go back really I always when you navigate into a page I always expect that I can swipe to go back on the native application uh, for the recipes it's working for the categories it's not working so that's definitely something to improve okay another rather small detail but something I always notice is when the when the padding is just wrong so here uh, above we have like, I don't know, four pixels and then here perhaps eight or so. So there's a difference. And then also the dots below the image are not in the same distance like this. It's really a, just a small thing, but um, keeping the paddings and the margins consistent in your application really makes uh, it look like just more polished and the user just feels that something is wrong sometimes. So when I'm in here, I got a button at the bottom of a recipe and I think this button uh, should be more like a primary color. I'm not really sure about the color scheme. This looks like the primary color, but if the button is really important, I would definitely give it some contrast color because it's right now, I would think this button is actually deactivated. I don't know what Ostalo Ot Aska means. Perhaps it makes sense in the language, but it still looks uh, disabled. So I would definitely give it 
uh, the important buttons a more primary color. Overall, a unique app with a unique design, which is maybe 10 or 15 years in the past. Some elements could be improved, uh, some are actually kind of nice from uh, like the animations. And in general, this application just needs more space. We got, we see the little small icons here really just give the design, the interface more room to, to breathe. Uh, and then the user has uh, a lot easier to find the important functionalities. App number two is something I just had to check out. It's called the Wurst app. So it is definitely from somebody in Germany because we Germans tend to like Wurst in basically every case. But it's also available in English so you can follow along. I like that the application um, allows to directly localize right in the beginning and then follows up with a little tutorial. Um, I, of course, I don't need this. I don't read this. Um, oh, geez, I wanted to go back. Can I go back to the... Uh, sh um, oh, yeah, I had this, this issue in one of my applications. There were like this in the top. So there's perhaps some kind of custom... Yeah, custom resizing going on and this is really something you don't want to have so it takes time to fix this but it's definitely possible so give this a look otherwise uh besides that i don't really like the first image it looks kind of uh, i don't know uh but i like the the shadows and that the page is actually pretty clear you got the rest of the up here uh you got here what i said in the previous one cut one image if you have a little slider so people know what to expect perhaps also make it uh sticky or paging i don't know what it's called and then something i noticed is the white on this background white on a dark background works great but white on a gray background um i'm not sure about that i think this could definitely do better besides that the the page is following uh, a theme and i like this and at the bottom we again got this uh special animation effect which definitely should be fixed at the top I can switch my languages, um, I don't like this area here, I think the standard popover just has this margin at the bottom, but you can get rid of this easily and make this menu look a bit nicer. When I click on the, the menu icon, actually the page replaces, but it has a back arrow, so there's a kind of little issue because uh, normally when you get a back arrow that means you can slide back and the page was pushed onto the stack, but it looks like the page was set as root. Um, which you can see from the immediate change and so there's a, a little little issue I would say with the back arrow so that should be in my opinion a close with an X um, or you should actually push the page and then allow it to swipe to go back besides that uh, we see German names here on this whole screen uh, although my application should be in English right now so within the category, I like really the, the clean UI. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you like sausages or not. Uh, <laughs> I love really a lot of sausages in this. Um, and this one, um, yeah, I didn't, uh, the, uh, uh, here's the drunken bratwurst. Uh, again, I can't really read this. So please use a dark font on a light background. This is really, really hard to read. Besides that, okay, uh, some ads, I guess. What happens if I click buy now? Yeah, I expected that. Uh, and then a lot of text and more buy now. I think, is this aligned? Uh, it's not really aligned in the center of this. I'm really, I'm really strict with the alignment, so watch out for your alignments. Oh, looks like there's actually a news entry about our city, the Hafenkäserei in Münster. And there we go again. <laughs> It's a building about cheese and I don't really like cheese so um, perhaps I don't need to visit this. But they've integrated the block in here um, which still looks nice. I don't know if they have a WordPress block in the background or something but that's kind of nice. So we got all the... <laughs> this is really a straightforward application to, to show a lot about sausages. A, small, a few small issues here and there about especially the fonts. So please, if you use different font colors and different backgrounds, check it out on a device how they look. Really white on a gray background doesn't work that great. Uh, a light gray on a white background is also very problematic. I have good eyes, but uh, something here is really hard to see. A few more animations here and there might be okay. The navigation uh, hiccup here. Besides that, I guess this application is delivering exactly what the title is about.
The last application is actually not just an application but also a progressive web app so I'm really interested to see how this one performs. It's called Armchair Treasure Hunter and I have no idea uh, what this one is about. Uh, let's first of all, because it's a progressive web app, check out the application right here. So let's see, name is defined, the short name. I think the short name shouldn't be this because you can already see this in my device. If I install it to my home screen, it is called like the short name and that's not really what you want to see in there. Also, there's no icon specified for iOS, so that's why the icon is the initial loading page and that really looks awful. Besides that, I guess it has everything it needs, a service worker, so let's clear this one and let's see it. Actually, let's see it on a device because that's what we came for, right? So here's the application, I guess I already skipped the uh, this introduction view and I don't know how to get back to it. Um, I like the uh, expanding application of this. I don't know if this is some kind of Angular, uh, Google stuff, but it's, it's really cool, I would say. So a clear view, fonts are nice, um, I can navigate through it. The icons are a bit small in my eyes in a real application. Perhaps this looks better on the web. And here is the first thing. What is going on with this arrow, huh? Because I have no idea, I just try the tutorial. And here the arrow looks right. Um, based on the music, figure out the location for the first clue. Uh, yeah, I don't want to watch the video. So play through. What is... What? If there's some kind of video playing, it always messes up with my view uh, and this page still looks strange to me. I have actually no idea. I think I need to search for something on this map. Um, I can switch maps. I actually like the presentation of the map and the controls above the application. And this animation is also nice, I would say. Uh, but besides that, I have really no idea why this screen is white. Ah, okay, suddenly we got a notepad. Uh, I don't want to add any notes. Jesus, I'm awful at reviewing applications if I don't read what they are actually about. So I don't know why, but these views perform really strange. I, I got this, it's not really header bar. It looks like just the content and I can pull it. So this stuff should definitely be moved into an header area so I can't pull it down. Also, I can't swipe to go back which is normally possible inside a progressive web app. Hint has been the smallest measurable amount of time in the universe equal to the time between it. I'll just, just drop this. What is going on? Why, why is Europe suddenly underwater? So I dropped myself into a kind of nice place, St. Peter, never been there before. And I, I don't know. So the implementation of Google Maps in this application is definitely great. I really enjoy what I can do. Uh, I guess I could do this in the official uh, Google Maps as well. How can I go back to the big map? Big map. Big map. No. Big map. There we go. Okay, another small issue. If I open the search bar, it actually is behind the menu. So there's a little issue of sizes going on, perhaps of absolute sizes. So uh, as well here on the side, there is something wrong. The, the, the view is just not 100% in here. So um, perhaps I will also check it out in the browser simultaneously. So. I Okay, so I'm really sorry that I can't continue with this application. I definitely get the idea of the application, which is a treasure hunt uh, with little clues to solve. I'm just terrible at these things, so I have no idea where I should continue. On the browser, this looks pretty cool. So we got this little side menu here, which I can open and close. But on the device, this just doesn't, doesn't feel right yet. So um, there are things cut off on the sides, uh, like this view. Um, let me cancel this. This complete red dialogue is just a bit too much, I would say. And right now, yeah, I can click here. As I said, the Google Maps implementation is cool. And a lot of things uh, on this map are also pretty cool, like dropping myself into the street view. But the reload is also a bit strange sometimes. Perhaps the app is reloading like the clues in the background or so. But this app could definitely do a lot better as a progressive web app, starting with the icon and the short name specified in the many-faced file. 
Um, then the menus, which look a lot, very strange. You could really have like a side menu inside the progressive web app, so I'm not sure uh, how this app was built. It doesn't really look like Ionix or perhaps anything else, perhaps just Angular. And then I feel there's like, um, I don't know, a bit too much uh, of things that all look the same. I have no idea where to start. There was a tutorial and I can click here to start but it's not super easy to get started. Perhaps I would make the tutorial easier to onboard the users because I'm really already lost at the first question. I have no idea what Insomnia uh, says. Uh, I don't know, it was recorded by a British musical group, so perhaps we're somewhere here in the United Kingdom, but I don't know where uh, or why. So make the tutorial and the onboarding a bit easier for your users and then also uh, work on the UI to make it more like a progressive web app if you want to market it as a progressive web app. Besides that, the idea, really cool. Uh, if the onboarding would get me, I might play this a bit more and actually here it looks better than on the device. So not sure why the web view is a lot better. Put some more hours into the application if you want to use it as a progressive web app, which could definitely work great here with the zooming and just getting lost in the riddles of this application. Alrighty then, I hope you enjoyed this episode of App Review. The three applications were actually kind of interesting. The one uh, I was not able to understand the language, the one didn't really work very well as a progressive web app and the other one was actually a lot of sausages. If you want to check out one of these applications, I will put a link to them below this video. I hope you give the video a little like and the subscribe so we can have more of these app reviews. If you got more applications as well, leave them below. Perhaps next month we will do this show again. I hope you learned a bit from a few mistakes that were in these applications and that you will make it better this week. So write some clean code, build some cool animations in your applications and I will catch you next week for a tutorial or a vlog. And I hope you have a great week of happy coding, Simon.